My man, how you doing? I'm doing well. Welcome back from Coachella, yeah, right? Thank you. This there is my you first go. time. First time ever, ever bro. Yeah. There you go. You got double pound. <laughs> so what happened, man? You were at Coachella having a good time? And, Too uh, good of a time. Ah. Got, uh, got locked out of my place. It happens. I had maybe a little bit too much. Maybe. Of my favorite beverages. And uh, I jumped over the fence to like <laughs> let myself in the other way of the gate. Got to get in. And uh, like I hit and then I fell on my butt. <laughs> oh, and I like bruised this side of my butt. Yeah. And then I worked out and I kind of like felt weird in my leg. Yeah. And then... I like went to bed last night and my right side of my like like butt I guess mm -hmm. like my muscle just was like like when your muscle like spasms or twitches yeah just all night like Ooh, twitch twitch all twitch night? yeah all night I it was so uncomfortable it kept you up yeah it kept me up Ooh. and then uh, today I woke up everything was fine and then I like was sitting down doing a podcast and like same thing when I sit down it just started like pulsing and it's just kind of been on and off today but like, got you yeah. got you so check that out what usually happens when we get that type of um, that type of thing here is what happened is likely you fell onto your sacrum or to your hip and this bone here the sacrum let's take this off right here this may have shifted a little bit and then what that does is it puts pressure on the nerves coming out of the lower back and the sacrum and basically those nerves go down here and that's the sciatic nerve so it's Which like it's not good right? it's not good yeah so, <laughs> so yeah, to sum it up right yeah. so what we're going to do is basically figure out is there an area your spine's out of alignment now here's the cool thing if your spine is in alignment we leave it alone like there's no reason, right? Right, right? But if it's out of alignment and it's pressing on a nerve, like not only can it cause like pain or that pulsing, mm -hmm. it can actually radiate all down the leg. Right. It can cause like numbness in the leg, which is like tons And my of mom people. has this issue. Yeah, tons yeah. of people have that issue. And then a lot of times what happens we see is that for example, and I, I hope it's not this, but that's what we're gonna check. Hopefully you fell and you shifted something out of place and we can align it again and you'll be good to go. Sometimes what happens is this disc down here, because of a lot of sitting, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, just the stresses of life can wear down and okay. then it gets to be like almost bone on bone and you might not even know it, like you're just living right. life. And then you fall and you're like, oh, and it was just enough, like it's like that last straw that broke the camel's back. Right, right. It's just enough to bring it out where you're like, dude, what's going on? Mm -hmm. So if it is that, then we may need more like corrective type care, but either way, we'll help you out. Cool. Yeah. How do you so, figure that out? My man. So <laughs> what we're going to do, so what we're gonna do um, in a moment, we're going to look at your spine. And when we look at your spine, we're looking for two things, movement and pain. And the reason I'll show you, tell you is like this. The spine should move. So just like all the joints in our body move, if your spine moves again, we leave it alone. If it's stuck, that's a misalignment. We call it a subluxation. Anytime we find that, we got to get a handle because it can cause tons of problems. The, the second way is we're going to take some pictures of your spine, some x-rays. Okay. We just see it, bro. So if it's out of alignment, like you can see it. Is it? I mean, I've never done this. Yeah, so it's. I mean, <laughs> no, don't worry, man. I've been doing this, bro. It's hard to believe. 15 years. Wow. Bro. 15 years, bro. The spines and minds, man. But is so. it common, like, throughout life, I guess, to <clears throat> have issues? Yeah, it's super common. Like, what happens is this. A lot of times, like, have you ever had a cavity? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so, like, how did you know you have a cavity? The dentist. I so you didn't yeah, even know? I didn't even know. You yeah. didn't even know. Okay, yeah, so yeah. sometimes you go to the dentist, you're like, I don't even know, and they're like, yeah, you do, let's fill it. So they did an exam. They probably took an extra to right, an X-ray, right. right? So we do the same thing because you might not know your spine's out of alignment. Have you ever had a toothache? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you do? I went to the dentist. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when you're like, I got a problem. Fix it. Like right, numb it right. up or what have you. So sometimes people come in in that situation, which you you know you're kind of in a little bit of discomfort right now, where they have a problem, and that's where sometimes we find things too. So hopefully there wasn't a pre-existing issue. Hopefully it's a yeah. minor thing. But we'll do an exam, look for motion, look for pain. So shake my hand. Does that hurt? No. Of course not. Watch this. Does that hurt? No. No. Are you going to hurt here? me? No. <laughs> <laughs> <He's waiting laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> <"How about here?" laughs> yeah. the joints don't hurt, man. Yeah, joints yeah. don't hurt when we press on them. <laughs> yeah. What about now? <laughs> so if, if we press on your spine and you're like, oh, like we know there's a problem there, it's swollen. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and take off your shirt, my man. Oh, good like thing I've been in the gym. Let's hey, go. Let's go, champ. <laughs> this guy. I'm still working on it though. Yeah, <laughs> we just set the phone over there. All right, so shoulders relax. And down to my side? Yeah, uh, you can actually bring them forward this way. And we're gonna start right here. We're gonna work our way down. So we're gonna start looking for motion. So from left to right, that's moving real good. Right to left, moving pretty good. And you want it to, right? Exactly, cool. bro. The 24 vertebrae that move in the spine. And if they don't move, then uh, don't, this doesn't groove, man. Mm. Right there, T4, 5, a little bit stuck there. Right there, T6, those nerves go to the stomach and the liver. Bro, you have been working out, huh? Mm -hmm. Champion. Moving pretty good. 
pretty good, pretty good. And as we get down to the lower thoracic, this is moving good. That's stuck right there. You feel that? Nope. So moving good. See, this is why I'm the Cairo man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lower back moving pretty good. And then as we get down here, I can tell yeah, it's- Yeah, we're getting to where the pain is. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any, anything there? I mean, I, feel, I can feel it like a little lower, like tailbone almost. Yeah, let's go a little lower right here. Any pain there at all? Oh, uh, yeah, fuck. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> we found it, right? Yeah. So this is L5. This is the bottom lumbar vertebrae right there. Yeah. So these nerves, bro, they go to the buttocks, the hamstrings, the legs, the feet, the big toe, the bladder, the reproductive organs, and the large intestine, which is water absorption, vitamin formation, and feces formation, right sacroiliac joint, and your left. So both joints, this is a little bit stuck. Your right one feels... Yeah, they're both pretty stuck, man. Okay. <laughs> so you definitely, you, you fell right onto your hips, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, pretty no, hard. No, no bueno, man. We're going to try a muscle test real quick. So you keep your foot like this and push back with your heel mark. Push, push, push. Oh, up? Yep, just like you did perfect. And then right here, this one, push back. Push, push, push. Okay, and then we're going to go in this way. So you push in this way towards me. Yep, just like that. Cool. And then this one here. So your muscles are firing properly. Pull in. Champion level. Go ahead and lay face up. We'll just check the neck while we're here. Oh, so that you feel the difference though, like no pain all the way down. We get yeah. there and you're like, ah! Damn, that hurt. Crazy, <laughs> huh, bro? Like face is it up just there. bruised or is it? Well, that's what we're gonna find okay. out. So usually if the vertebrae hurts when you press on it, it's usually not so much a bruise. It can be, okay. it's usually stuck out of alignment. Got it. And if that's the case, I mean, that's what we do, man. Yeah. yeah. Look at this, you got stuff on the ceiling and everything. Come on. I've never had this done. My man, so look right here. Super tight right there on the left side. A little more mobile. Look at that. You see how it moved already? Yeah, I had a crack. Yes, sir. Right there. Okay, so a little tight up top, mainly that lower area. Tighten your abs. Come on up. Oh, man. All right, so we definitely confirmed the presence of spinal misalignment. Looks like mainly the lower back. We're going to take some pictures, and then we'll be able to tell you what's going on. And then I'll be good as gold once you... Bro, good as gold, bro. <laughs> there you go. I got to get this down. Bro. I haven't been here. <laughs> this guy, so sure back on. Cool. Otherwise, all the uh, other people are going to run in, man. Hell yeah. All right, we're going to run to the back and take some pics of the spine. Cool. My man, welcome back. Am I good? <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of issues, man. There's a couple uh, of issues. No. Yeah, so <laughs> remember we were talking about that it could be one of two things. It could be that basically you fell, you shifted the spine out of alignment, and it's a new issue, mm. or it could be a pre-existing issue where there was an issue there, a little bit of degeneration, right. and you kind of push yourself over that. This is the second one. So that's not good. Yeah, it's not great. Okay. It's not great, right? You're how old? 25. 25. So there's some, definitely a little bit of degeneration in there. The good news is we see this thing all the time in the office. We can handle it. Makes sense? It, I'm just trying to think right now. Like a lot of times when I go like this, I'll crack my neck. And yeah. when I'm on the treadmill too, doing like incline, when I go like this, I oh, my back always cracks. Exactly. Yeah, that's a, that's a dead giveaway that you're out of alignment and you okay. need an alignment. Okay. Because basically like you kind of naturally know, you're like, wait a minute, like my neck wants to move, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My back wants to move your body's talking to you that's i mean what we do is we do it professionally so that you don't have that urge mm. okay. makes sense yeah awesome thanks doc all right so uh so let's take a look all right so here's the neck now starting out with the neck since you mentioned that you're always doing the self-adjusting yeah. this is your neck from behind one question is it straight doesn't look like it <laughs> no so, <laughs> right? so when the spine is out of alignment what the take-home message is man but is didn't you say it's supposed to move around yes you're right oh, you're right does. spine is supposed to move but when the spine when you're standing still and your spine is crooked think of it like this think of the tie real men wear pink bro yeah. Come on, <laughs> think of the tie as your spinal cord and when your spine is straight your cord is relaxed if your spine's out of alignment the cord is tense mm. so all day man your spine has tension on it which we call no bueno okay right so we want to get that straightened out um, next here we look at your mid back you see pretty straight but there's a little bit of a bone right. there so we're going to adjust you to bring you back into alignment now the lower back from the from behind looks pretty straight looks pretty right on okay that's awesome that's where i got hurt that's yeah so yeah. where you got hurt was right down here where you're having this you fell on your left side you're experiencing symptoms down here the nerve that comes out of l5 and the the sacrum right here like we talked about mm -hmm. that goes right here the sciatic nerve and that's where you're having the symptom yeah. in that buttock area right so this bone it's difficult to tell here but that's why we measure is rotated back one way and that's going to put pressure on those nerves okay and so here we found something else check this out this is you from the side you're red and you're supposed to be yellow 
Oh. So you're you're stuck in what we call. Uh, Wait, why is it so bent? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're you're stuck in what's called a hyperextension with a posterior translation. So you're you're back more than you should be, and then you're like leaning back, which I can't do too much. Let it fall over. Right. So you're stuck like that. So that's not good. Number one, because it wears out the disc. So we kind of zoomed in here and did what's called a spot shot. And you see the disc right here? You see here how it's really small at the back? It's almost bone on bone. Yeah. That's well, it's supposed to be there. Yeah, so it's supposed to be <laughs> disc space like this. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be wider in the front, smaller in the back, but instead of being like this, you're like this. Why is this one like, look like it's bent back? Yeah, so that's actually an old fracture in the bottom of your vertebrae. From like what, falling like Fall, on a skateboard Yeah, or something? skateboard, bike, something jumping over. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when you were a kid, right? Yeah. So you, you, that's actually an old fracture that dented in what we call the end plate of the bone. It's called a schmorl's node, if you ever hear that term. Okay. But what is concerning, you see this big, big hole right here? Uh -huh. That's where the nerve comes out. So it's supposed to be big and round like that. You see right here how it's much smaller? Right. So that's, again, no bueno. So stick your finger out, right? So if you're the nerve, the big hole right there has lots of space. Right, this one right. is a lot more closed. So it's rubbing. So, yeah, exactly. And then if you just like throw yourself, you know, six feet mm. down onto the ground, it might just press into that nerve. And that's what you've been feeling is that kind of like spasmic contraction. Okay. So what we're gonna do is two things. So we're gonna adjust your spine. There's a subluxation here and here. It's a technical thing. I, I know where to adjust you. But what we did was we had you lay over what's called a spinal remodeling roll. We'll get to the neck in just a second. Here's what happened. You actually got an amazing correction. So you see, this is you standing there and this is you laying over the block. You see how it's almost perfect? Oh, that, oh okay. It, it literally, that was uncomfortable. It's super uncomfortable, yeah. yeah. But the thing is this, so it's always a choice. And this is the cool thing is this is totally up to you. I'm just here to gather the details and help you out. Um, you know, we can adjust you and we're gonna make correction little by little with adjustments. If we put you on the spinal remodeling roll and we call it traction, you're actually gonna get much more rapid changes. Either way, we can figure that out later. What mm -hmm. you wanna do, I just want you to know that it's correctable. How long does that take? I'd say take about three to four months. Oh wow, I'm so, that messed up. <laughs> <laughs> like every day for three four no oh, three, a couple no. times like two three times a week oh wow yeah okay so it just take time it's like kind of like going to the gym right like, yeah, yeah yeah you know it's like when you start working out you're like how long does it take to get biceps like that guy yeah, you know yeah. it takes time okay right wow. so we can definitely do it um now as for the neck since you were here and you were talking about cracking your neck so the neck's not terrible you're red you're supposed to be yellow you still have a little bit of a curve in there but again you see how that disc it's mimicking the lower back right so right down there where the disc is compressed the disc is shrinking down here, here, here. So what we did was that thing called a stress film again. We wanted to see is it correctable. We put you on that traction roll and look what happened. Came out almost perfect. Cool. Even a little bit of overcorrection. So it's definitely correctable. What we're gonna do today is get you your alignment, do a really light traction sesh just so you can lay there and kind of feel what it feels like. And then we'll figure out what you wanna do. Cool. Sound good? You ready for your first alignment? Yeah, I'm nervous. Bro, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Um, so go ahead and come on up and um, let's go ahead and lay face down, sir. So big breath in, sir. And all the way out. Shoulders relax. And we're going to start in the mid thoracic spine. You're going to feel a movement bud and hear a noise. It is not the bones rubbing together. It's just gas releasing from the joint, all right? Mm -hmm. Breath in, Mark. Shoulders relaxed all the way, bud. <laughs> How do we do, sir? I felt it. My man. <laughs> Breathe again. Chest relaxed. Shoulders really loose. It's one by one. Yeah. <laughs> A little tight in there, huh? Yep. Yeah. It's true, man. It's true. Hips relaxed. All right. So. This is that area that was really tender. So we're gonna put some motion in here. This is gonna be a little bit bigger here. You're gonna lay on your left side, sir, facing that red cabinet over there. Bring your arm with you all the way over there. There we go, just like that, sir. So the way we adjust your lower back, especially for guys like me and you that are really lean, is uh, we're gonna have you on your side, hips relaxed. Just like that, sir, this leg goes straight. Just like that, we're gonna have your arms right here. Just like that, head back there, sir. And this is that area where the nerve was inflamed. So this is the sacrum we're gonna adjust. I'm gonna hold you here, Mark, so you don't fall off the mm -hmm. table. Contact there, lean over you, the force comes between the hips. Okay? This is my hip? This is your hip. Oh, okay. So breath in, dude. 
All the way out. Shoulders relax. Oh! <laughs> Big That's never row. been done before. Yeah, it's a fact, man. That's a fact. How crazy is that, man? That's nuts. Yeah, come on over this way, tighten oh. the abs. Come on over. We got the next. Yes, side. sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. So that was the lower level. Now we're gonna do the uh, the lumbar spine, the lower back. Straighten that one out. Hips relax, just like that. Wow. Sir. Yeah, man. Head back a little bit, sir. Yep, exactly. Let the head chill. Slow breath in. All the way out. Hips relax, I won't drop you, my man. Just lean over a little bit. Oh, that was a big one. That was big, man. Yeah. So needed, though. Yeah. We're gonna tighten your abs, tight, tighten your abs, sit up. You're gonna actually stand up now. We're gonna get the upper back of you standing, so face that way, shoulders relaxed. Head down, sir, all the way, arms down. I'm gonna get my hands right here. Your hands go on top of mine. Full Nelson. Yeah, <laughs> all the way up here. Squeeze down, chest up really good. Breathe in, fall wait, back wait, into me. Wait, wait, sorry. Breathe. One more. Fall back. Ooh. Dude, tight up there, bro. All that self-adjusting. I know, it's not good, right? It's not good, yes. I don't know what I'm doing. Exactly, I'm man. I'm just like going shh. Yeah, lay on your back now. We'll get you, uh, get you straightened out, my man. Oh, we don't. More? Yes, sir. Just a little bit, just a little bit. One more. So head relax. Slow breath in. All the way out. This one's a little louder, closer to the ears. Breath in again. Oh, <laughs> my man. D Whoa. Dial, brother. Yes, sir. Did he get you on for the traction <laughs> session? <now? laughs> you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Bro, the most important adjustment of all. Yeah. Time, man. Thank you, man. Yes, Appreciate sir. it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now the pains would go all the way. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> It takes a little bit of time. So a yeah. lot of times people do actually finish their adjustment, man, and they're like, oh my God, I feel amazing. But sometimes it does take a couple of visits so the pain goes away. And what we want to do is focus on the underlying issue. But again, that's we'll, we'll talk more about that and what you want to do. Cool. Cool. Thank awesome, you, man. Brother. Appreciate yeah. it. Oh, we got the. Wait, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to the boom, the boom, yeah. and the. Psh. All right, let's get him set up on traction.